Hey everyone, it's Neil, and I'm glad to be back. Today we're going to take a listen to my track using our new instrument called Analog Hybrid Drums. It's part of the Damage 2 line, and it's heavy. So of course, I wrote a metal track to demonstrate how awesome it is. Let's check it out. Check out what's going on here. Lots of guitars and bass and a ton of drums. All right, we'll check out the first section. So here we go. We got this analog hybrid loop designer, just ticking away time. And then there's drums that kick in. And the main beat. Kit called Dirt Jangles. Some uh, crashes. That's the craziness. Let's check out the guitars real quick. I came up with this line, which I thought was sort of fun. And did a quick panning little play thing here. So that's where you're hearing this first loop. Bass comes in. So it starts to groove there, you know, the bass is sort of hinting. The guitar goes from this sort of center part into the rhythm that's supporting left and right. And that is these two parts here and here. It says Mick T because it is the Mick Thompson guitar of doom. I'll show it to you. This is the guitar and it's a tune down to B. The entire guitar is tuned down to B and then the low string is a drop A. So. So it's super low and heavy. And then the bass is down there too. So let's just put this back. Cool. And um, obviously I have a few amplifiers behind me using some really crunchy tones. Um, so this is happening once the intro occurs. So it obviously needs some really heavy drums. The main drum kit that's playing here. So it's a combination kit and it's a snapshot so if you go into factory you're going to see combo which is using like analog drums which is a good chunk of this library probably half um, as far as the kits go and then there is hybrid which are made from real analog drums not synth analog drums and then there's the synth stuff so this is a combo kit using a little of both and it sounds like this <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty heavy and crunchy. So there's your kick drum. And I chose um, to make it short because there's such incredible bottom end on that if the release is up really high. It goes forever. Okay, that's not forever, but you know what I mean? And it's uh, a little too much, so I pulled it back so the bass guitar could still have its own space. So essentially that's the sound. On this one, it's just like kick snare. Instead of using the hats, Great drum keyboard guy. That was terrible. Instead of using the hats in that kit, I decided to use the uh, analog hybrid loop designer, which is here. So I'll just solo that. So the awesome thing about this, which is very common in a lot of our products, especially the damage line, where you have these trigger keys and it's playing a whole loop and you can see like there's the low loop the mid loop the high loop and you can assign those again there are other videos on that so I was looking for some of the higher stuff you're gonna find kicks down here and kick like stuff more snare like stuff and the second octave And these are more hat-like, very wispy. So you can, you know, make your own groove. Etc. So I chose a couple of these loops, which I thought worked really cool with the kit. And then for good measure, some crashes. And the crashes are coming from a patch, which is also a combination called Heavy Monsters. Um, I chose it because the symbols were a little cleaner. Just slamming crunchy, awesome drums. So I sort of picked and chose what I wanted to use for elements. You can build your own kit from scratch, but I was like running and gunning, working really fast. I had these guitar riffs that I was doing. I was excited. I was like, I need a groove. Let me throw it down. And then I went back and sort of chose better things that sat in the mix with the drums and the bass. So let's pick it up from there. <laughs> Check out this uh, second section. It's sort of the chorus, if I had a singer. This was fun, so if we check this out real quick. So that's from the Ensemble Designer, which allows you to place drums anywhere in the sort of stereo spectrum. If you push them further back, they become wetter, forward, drier, left, right. It's pretty obvious. And it's more, let's see, what's under the fingers here. So you can see this snapshot or preset is called analog hybrid reverses and here it's symbol reverses. So that's what I did. I use reverse symbols to come into the beat, the downbeat of the one uh, with a little twist of dropping the pitch. So. Sounds like a spaceship landing. So with a guitar and bass. It's just effective for that break um, with the guitar, which is sort of 
um, a scooped sound. And then it goes into big chorus. And also I forgot to mention, so this particular track is using vast so that's our um reverb convolution plugin and it's adding a little bit of that sort of wet texture to it So in the chorus, I chose a different kit. I used a little bit of it as sort of a fill earlier on. So we're going to go find that kit, which is a kit called A Bit Over the Top. And I tweaked some stuff, so I resaved it with my name. Who cares about that? So I think it's pretty aptly named. I'm writing this riff, the chorus riff, and um, it's got a lot of energy and obviously you need drums that are going to cut through and punch. And uh, I just found this kit and thought it sounded great with it. So just against the guitars. And then if you add in the, um, the octave higher sort of uh, mono guitar. and then the bass. So we have a breakdown here and I wanted to do something a little snazzy. Who uses that word? I don't know. It's the loop designer again, and this time we're doing some funky stuff here using some interesting loops. So there are these trigger keys, which you can see down here called stutter. So I made good use of those. To demonstrate with these stutter keys, we have which is kind of neat, adds a little extra personality to it. So if we hear it in context. into space <laughs> okay the last thing it's not related to the product but I wanted to add a little extra sort of air on the top so I got out my uh, Moog synth when I was doing this I was using it with my guitar pedals and there was a ton of distortion and there was this sort of cool feedback thing happening which I just let go there and then I decided I don't want it to come on the first half of the double chorus. So we went to the second half and that's where it comes in, which is about here. And then it, it dumps back into that crazy feedback. As soon as I stopped playing the note, it just freaked out. I was like, I like that. So in context, and then we're done. And 
that's the track. I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in and watching this track. I hope you guys got something out of it and enjoyed it. There's more information at heavyocity.com. We have a preset playthrough, uh, product overview, audio demos. And as always, make sure you like this video on YouTube. It's super helpful for us. And make sure you subscribe to Heavyocity's YouTube channel so you're in the know for all the latest and greatest things coming out of Heavyocity. Once again, take care and thanks. Thanks.